In this podcast, we're going to consider the immune system, its structure and its components, and how they might work together. To do this, we need to start with a big juicy bone. And that's because some of the most important cells in our immune system originate in the bone marrow. And these are the lymphocytes. And there are two types that we need to know about. They're all produced in the bone marrow, but the B lymphocytes stay there until they're required. The T lymphocytes, however, migrate out of the bone marrow towards the thymus and other lymph nodes. The other two cells it's worth us knowing about are firstly the macrophages, this big scary mouthed cell should give you an idea about what they do, And then lastly, the little ninja cells, the natural killer cells. If you're a biology student or just interested, this would be a good time to try and remind yourself about the exact way that each of these manages to work. Now let's consider the immune response. There are many ways we can divide it up. But here's one. The natural killers and the macrophages make up our innate immune system. The B and the T lymphocytes are our adaptive or acquired immune system. In other words, this is the bit that we get through experience. Another way of considering the immune system and its response is to divide it into two. Firstly, the Th1 response. This consists of the T lymphocytes and the natural killer cells. This is balanced out by the Th2 response, which consists of the B lymphocytes and the macrophages. Balancing out these two responses are the chemicals known as cytokines. Stress can directly impact the level of cytokines by raising them. By raising the level of cytokines, we shift the balance between Th1 and Th2 responses so that the balance is pushed towards Th2. By reducing the Th1 balance of T lymphocytes and natural killer cells, we increase our risk of direct infection. This is how stress might make us more susceptible to illness.